What this remarkable research suggests is that the materialistic bias that has been present in neuroscience specifically and in science in general leads us to misunderstand the results of our science. Uh, one could say in a sense almost that we have an ocean of data, an ocean of answers, but we've forgotten what the questions are. We've forgotten the questions that we're supposed to be answering. And when you look at these studies in cognitive neuroscience carefully, they are giving us a very clear answer to a fundamental question in neuroscience, and that is, is the mind entirely a product of the material brain? And the answer they're giving us is that it's not. And this particular viewpoint that neuroscience has been misled by materialistic ideology has been addressed in some depth by, um, by two people working in the field uh, who I think have done fascinating work. Uh, there's a neuroscientist named Bennett uh, from Australia and a philosopher named Hackett from Oxford who've published several books uh, over the past co couple decades, uh, the most uh, prominent of which is, um, I believe it's the philosophical basis of neuroscience, in which they critique the materialist um, viewpoint, in which they point out that the, um, the traditional classic way that materialist science, scientists do neuroscience seriously misrepresents what the science is telling us, and that we can't understand our experiments if we begin with a materialistic bias that isn't justified by the evidence. So I, 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 I strongly recommend Bennett, Bennett and Hacker's work. It provides a wonderful philosophical foundation for getting a deeper insight into neuroscience. The object that neuroscience studies, uh, the human mind and the brain, uh, is best understood by dualism. And I believe that neuroscientists uh, need to become more acquainted with, uh, with dualism and need to understand the limitations of materialism which are profound and which are holding their science back.